and we just sprayed the sprayed the house down, kept the roof wet, and did all we could. A fast moving wildfire still burning out of control near Nespelum in Okanagan County. It's already burned 10,000 acres. 14 structures have been lost so far. Seven of those are homes. Authorities say it started as two separate fires, both sparked by lightning. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Crempton News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan and I'm Whitney Ward. So behind us, you can actually see video of the lightning storm that popped up around 730 last night. And after that, it did not take long at all for those fires to start running out of control as the flames spread. Then people, horses and wildlife were all forced to run for safety. Crempton News Amanda Rowley spoke to a family who stayed behind to protect their house. She joins us live now with their story tonight. Amanda. Well, in a matter of just 10 minutes, the wildfire surrounded uh, Edward Wolf's family home. Now, his uncle's family lives there now, but they were able to escape using their fire plan. But Edward and his uncle stayed behind to keep those flames at bay. Last night, Edward Wolf and his uncle scrambled to turn on whatever hoses and sprinklers they could get a hold of. It came fast. It was it happened fast. The two frantically watered down the roof of the house and the lawn. He says the livestock on their property have kept the grass low, but the fire still came within 10 feet of the house. Once it started moving across the flat part, it, it got there quick. Did you think you at some point wouldn't be able to keep up with it? There was a split. There was a short time right when it got there. It was it. It was really hot and smoky. They fought the fire until crews came to take over. Yeah, I think they might have seen me get nervous too a little bit. My tempo started picking up a lot more. Today they are running on little sleep, but his uncle is back at their house and it's still standing. Several cars are lost though, but Edward is grateful their family home is untouched. We have a big family and that house is important to a lot of people. They're all really grateful and thankful as well. And I'm glad me and my uncle were able to hold it down, I guess. Now tonight, Edward is with his aunt, whose home is actually under uh, currently under level one evacuation orders, and that level means prepare to go. So after I talked to him this afternoon, he went back to his aunt's house to help his family prepare for another uncertain evening. Reporting in Nespelum, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News. Amanda, thank you very much. So right now these fires are still 0% contained. Obviously they just started last night and have been spreading rapidly mm -hmm. for about 24 hours. Crews now are just trying to develop a plan of attack and try to keep that fire away from as many structures as they can. Let's go live now to our Casey Decker who's also on scene tonight. And Casey, what are you seeing out there where you're at? Mark Whitney, right behind me here is the Joe Moses fire. It is the second largest of five active fires on the Colville Reservation right now. And I actually just learned it is currently merging with the largest fire, the Chawea Creek fire. Obviously, you never want to see that. That combined fire, more than 10,000 acres and growing right now. Casey, uh, what can you tell us about the situation there for fire crews? Obviously, we have been seeing a lot of trucks and crews trying to move around, staying ahead of it. Yeah, well, part of this is really just still recon. They have some planes you might have just seen a minute ago in the air that are really looking out for new fires that might pop up. Since these are all caused by lightning, uh, I'm told lightning can create sorts of sleeper fires that stay hidden for a while and then suddenly flame up. So they're keeping a close eye on that. The other priority, of course, is protecting people, animals and structures. We've seen a lot of engines come through here and they're going to uh, threatened buildings to sort of, you know, water them down, fend off any flames and try to keep as many properties as safe as they can. And, and Casey, quickly, we know that uh, in terms of air assets, they don't fly at night, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the plan going into tonight and tomorrow? Well, local crews right now are still mostly in charge, but DNR has been on scene since this morning, and then an incident command team is arriving later tonight. They'll create a command post, they'll get briefed by all the crews, and then they'll shadow them tomorrow, and I'm told tomorrow afternoon is expected to when DNR will start to take over the scene and have a real full uh, statewide plan of attack in position, ready to go for tomorrow. All right, Casey Decker live near Nespelum tonight. Casey, thank you very much.